Good day everyone, I am Jason van Yeden and I am a registered dietitian doing another video for 11 Nutrition and today we are going to be covering citrulline malate in our sports nutrition series. Let's get into it. So citrulline, or you may also know it as L-citrulline, or you might know it as citrulline malate. So for the purposes of this video, we are just going to be calling it citrulline. But what is citrulline really? And citrulline is a non-essential amino acid found in the body, meaning that the body can actually make some of its own. And then for that, why it can actually help so much, because we are going to be supplementing it, giving it to higher levels in the body. But why can we actually benefit from it? So citrulline, one of the reasons why it is so good is because it is a vasodilator meaning that it actually goes to the bloodstream and it actually expands our arteries it actually allows more oxygen to go in and out but how does it actually do that so what it does is because citrulline will then allow for more arginine to be made inside our bloodstream and that will then lead to more nitric oxide being released and then the nitric oxide will then allow the arteries to then expand and that's actually how we get the benefit from it but if arginine is the main thing that we're trying to increase, why don't we then just supplement arginine itself? Because you can actually get an arginine supplement. And what they have actually seen is that citrulline is actually better at increasing the arginine levels in the body compared to arginine itself. And that is just has to do with regards to how the body metabolizes and breaks down arginine and citrulline in the body. And as well, what they've seen is that taking high amounts of arginine has led to gut issues so you can get some cramps maybe a bit of diarrhea and comfortableness but people generally tolerate citrulline at higher dosages what they have seen in the studies is that with citrulline supplementation is that there is actually a reduction in fatigue during exercise as well as an increase in work capacity due to that reduced fatigue there was also a minor increase seen in aerobic capacity so this may help you with your say you're running or you're cycling actually the studies were mainly done with cyclists so they were actually able to perform a little bit better if they took a bit of citrulline and one of the other benefits is that there is actually a minor increase in power output that they have seen but this wasn't really seen in acute supplementation so where they basically took it just before the workout or the session or the exercise but rather the benefits come from long-term supplementation let's get into the timing and the dosage of citrulline So citrulline is mainly found in citrulline malate. So what that means is that the malate is just an inorganic salt and you actually need to take 1.76 grams of citrulline malate to get one gram of citrulline. So now the dosage, you should be taking about six to eight grams of citrulline or that around about 10 to about 13.6 citrulline malate grams that you should be taking in just before you go exercise it's normally done about an hour before you go exercise but on non-training days it would still be advised to still take the six to eight grams of citrulline a day but you can break that up into smaller parts so for example you can take for example two grams in the morning two grams in the middle of the day and two grams later because a lot of the benefits actually come again from the chronic supplementation of citrulline malate and not just before the exercise and that is citrulline so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you in the next one bye for now